Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Etho Pack. Uh, I've done a little bit since last time. Uh, just getting some base stuff going. All I have is a couple uh, leadstone energy cells and a pulverizer, innocuous accumulator with a steam dynamo is powering that. Uh, I found some hops and some grapes and have started growing those. And along with those, we got a brew kettle. I got a little bit of ale in there that we can turn into stuff. I have um, a little bit over here. Pretty cool how uh, what it does. So it gives you, in this version, it, it's essentially potions, but a little bit different. So it gives you a chance of getting tipsy, right? And you can have tipsy one, two, three, four, or five, however much you drink. Um, and there's a various effects that can happen as you get later into it. But uh, as you can see, I've eaten it once out of the last 250 foods. So it, it gave me haste for, for three minutes. And I did get a little tipsy. There's a 70% chance. It gives you a little bit of food, but it takes away saturation. That's what the red is. So as opposed to like, the, like this jellyfish, which gives me three and a half saturation, it takes away three saturation. Um, food situation's okay. It's surprisingly difficult when you hit this, like you're going through. Let me, let me find my food journal here. And we can look at how, I've, I've only eaten 14 different foods. Like, only 14. I need to eat 200 and, or, well, I guess I ate blueberries twice on accident. But I need to eat. 250 foods before I could kind of go back and go again. It's insane how much that is. Anyway, let's get into what we're going to do today. Um, oh, the other thing is I have a sheep, two chickens that I've hatched out of eggs, and I managed to find two cows over there, and I had leads and brought them over and bred them, and I have a baby cow there now. Awesome. You may be wondering why I have so many reeds around, and we'll get to that a little later. But uh, I'm just going to do one thing first, which is pretty fun. Archimedes ships. Throw my, throw my food journal back in here. And I think I have some balloons in here somewhere. There they are. Let's see here. Now, I've seen where people have broken their world by putting it down on the ground, so I'm going to pop it up two blocks here. And we only have four balloons right now, so we'll just get a little like speed racer thing going here. I don't know what to break these with. It's just my hand. A little, little racer there. And we'll assemble our ship and mount it. And okay. <laughs> uh, let's back back in here. Yeah. I didn't think that that. Okay. Why don't why don't we? I guess. Oh, we'll just stick them. I don't even know. Okay, we got a little screw going. Okay, now let's assemble the ship. We can. Go. Can we go up? Oh, I think I, I did change the controls here. Get these controls. Yeah, ascent and descent. I think I messed up my mouse. Give me just a second. There we go, up and down. Rather slow. We can now fly around and get a look of our bird's eye view of our land here. I guess it gets going a little quick over time. They're kind of weirdly difficult to control. Oh, I left. Did I leave behind things again? Let's see here. I'm floating in midair. Uh, 
geez. Okay, let's let's disassemble our ship. That I the that leather chest plate I just picked up off a zombie that I had killed. Just stick that there. Um so that's our ship. <laughs> so let's get on to some other stuff. Um let's see, what else do I got here? Um okay, so I did make I wanted to make a redstone furnace. We've been depending on these mini charcoal and things, so yeah. Here, let's get rid of this. It's like a revealing curtain for our wonderful power source here that I've been using. Making some blocks of coke, full coke. I don't know if these not ah, pulverizer. These go in here. They can. That'll just power that up real quick. Um, I'm just gonna toss this in here. Two. We're gonna throw our throw our furnace over there. Right. Oh no, it's that. Okay. There, that's powering up. And now we'll be able to cook things pretty quick. But the next thing is I wanted to get in a mine chem. Now uh, we need it. I know we need a microscope. And we're going to have this chemical synthesizer. Now we need a chemical decomposer. Iron around the outside. Grab a little bit of redstone here. Put in bones. And we got a chemical synthesizer and decomposer. Okay, let's get these. How do I want to set this up? I don't know if there's a way to... Okay. We're going to put the decomposer right there. Synthesizer right here. So maybe eventually we'll be able to have pipes and stuff. We're going to break our pulverizer. Maybe. Nope. Pop our pulverizer up there. And have our output be to the decomposer here. Yeah. Okay, and then the one oh sorry. Microscope. Microscope's gonna pop right there. Uh so what we can do is do that. It'll show us what we'll get out of things and if we can make them too. Uh so we can synthesize sugar cane by putting sucrose, hydrogen, and oxygen together. And it also breaks down into those things. But there's a 65% chance. Of, it's different for each thing. But what we're going to do is we are going to turn this sugar. Turn that off real quick. We're going to turn the sugar cane into sugar. Actually, keep one of those. And that sugar is going to go there. Now we know sucrose. Oh, before I forget, I have a piece of glass. Oh, yeah, I do. In my inventory. We need to make a book real quick. Um, I have wood. There's some paper. A little more paper. I have enough sugar cane sitting around here now. I've been trying to figure this out for a while. I, I didn't mess around with uh mess around with mine chem a little bit on uh creative trying to figure it out but we'll get our paper and then we're gonna do a wood wood based book because our cows are not quite ready enough to create all the leather that we need not that we're gonna be Making a ton of books quite yet, but uh, I believe it's ring goes there, and we need sticks and the. I get it right. I think this is it. Yep, there we go. We got a book, and we'll just pop these in here for now. And then that book, we add our glass to it, and we get our chemist journal. 
Now this chemist journal helps us, it stores all of our stuff. So like now we see the sugars in there. And I'm gonna get, oops, night time. Let me just sleep this real quick. Good morning. And we're gonna get a piece of coal. And pop that in there. With our chemist journal. So there's going to be kind of two things that I'm going to be going with here. Oh, the other thing I wanted to make is one of these empty tubes here. So if I take one of these empty tubes and I stick it in the water, it gives me eight H2O. So water. <laughs> And I want to get 64 here. We're just going to pop this in here too. So it'll give us two hydrogen and one oxygen like you see there. Basically, we're going to do something pretty cool. We're going to use water. Water breaking that down into hydrogen and oxygen. And that's pretty slow because I don't have, it's only 80 RF per tick out. So a little slow on that. But then we could take this hydrogen. I get up to a stack here. Pop it in our steam dynamo. I'm not sh quite sure yet. The burn time 100. I don't know how much RF that produces. That Will it tell me? Nope, I guess not. But, so oxygen is a bit of a waste product in all this. Luckily in Minecraft, we can do this. And, ooh, I'm stuck in the mud. I don't know why I didn't fill that in. There we go. So now we can produce hydrogen that way. But another thing that we can do is with this sugar, we break that down into sucrose. Which will also produce a ton of hydrogen. You can see it's C12H2211. I'll produce some carbon as well. Pop that in there. How much energy per item? It takes 1,000 RF per item. This R? Yeah, it is RF. Okay. We could take this carbon and pop it in here. Our chemical synthesizer. Okay. Wait for it. Oh. Yeah, there's going to be a little bit of waste product with this. Or or a lot of it. Toss this oxygen here. Even some of the hydrogen. Not gonna need all that. Pop all the carbon in here, and now, because you have one coal in my inventory, boom, 31. And then, turn that into coal blocks, pop it in our coke oven, and it takes a really long time, but it'll turn into you know, 16,000 ticks. It'll turn into a block of coal. So, cool stuff with that. So that is what we're looking at. And I want to get into this mind chem stuff a lot more. And uh, some of this uh, growth craft harvesting and everything. And we'll make some nice airships with that stuff. Lots and lots of stuff to do. So, what to do now? Man, I was talking so much I didn't pay attention to how my, how long I was recording. We are just about out of time for today. 
a uh, little hopefully sneak peek for next time. Uh, I am going to be doing a little bit of computer craft on the side with some turtles that we did back in the uh, the couple of episodes that I did a tech it doing a little mining. But uh, I want to do some ME storage. Now I did look at the recipes a bit and the ME controller, which is like your power source, right? It requires pure Fluix crystals, right? Drop a Fluix seed made from Fluix dust and sand into a puddle of water to make the process faster and grow. Okay. Fluix seed. So I look this up. Fluix seed. Okay. Fluix dust and sand. Not a big deal, right? Right? Okay. Um, Fluix crystal and Fluix dust. Okay. Well, how do I get a Fluix crystal, right? Drop one charged Surtis Quartz, one Nether Quartz, and a Redstone Dust. Okay, that's not too bad. I don't think Nether Quartz and Redstone is pretty easy to come by. Well, let's look at Charged Quartz. Okay, Charged Surtis Quartz is crafted by inserting an uncharged Surtis Quartz crystal into a charger. And then Charged Surtis can also be found in a world semi-rarely. Okay. And it can be produced in chemical synthesis, but you need one to start with before you can make that anyway. Well, okay, let's look at what you have to do for a charger, right? Applied energistics charger. Now, wait a minute. This requires Fluix crystals to make. Hmm. So, we have to find charged Certus quartz in the regular land to then make a charger our first charger, so that we can make regular Certus Quartz turn into charged Certus Quartz. That's going to take a little bit of time. I have been strip mining, haven't found any yet, found some regular Quartz, nothing big on this other stuff though. So that'll probably be maybe a little bit down the line. It depends on when I find it, what it comes down to. But I hope you enjoyed the episode. We went through a whole bunch of stuff today. Not a lot of focus on some stuff. Maybe next time we'll do some building. I wanna I've been thinking about doing some like a cellar for my uh ale, like beer and wine production and stuff like that. And yeah, since we've been doing mostly technical stuff in the beginning, maybe we'll do a little building next time. I'm thinking like big steampunk house with like a cellar and crazy like tiny entrance and then it opens up into a big giant tree of rooms and stuff so it'll be we have a lot planned with a lot of stuff to go and if you enjoyed the episode please hit that like button or subscribe and i hope to see you next time Bye bye